St. Sennan's Church here in Inascara. I know that today um, some people are joining us and others are, can't make it to the service today for harvest. But if you're joining us online, you're more than welcome. You've just seen some of the amazing displays that we have here in Inascara this morning. And Throughout today, we're celebrating the rich gifts that God has given us. Uh, both the harvest, the traditional harvest gifts, the fruit, the vegetable, the flowers, the, the wheat, um, and all of the many bountiful gifts that we share. Also today in Carrigrown Union, our, we are having our gift day, a day when we are asking parishioners and friends to, um, to have a think about the mission and ministry to which uh, we have been called as a, as a parish family. And our giving today is going towards the, um, the provision of mi mission and ministry going forward. And if you would like to contribute, all the details are on our giving page on our website, www.cupcork.ie forward slash giving. But today I wanted to do something online. Um, so <laughs> at the minute it's lunchtime, I've done two services and I'm about to do two others today. But I wanted to take time out to um, share with you some of the prayers and the readings that are being used in this place um, today. We come at harvest time to thank God for the harvest, the harvest of our fields and farms, bringing food to our tables and meeting our physical needs. We thank God for the harvest of our community, our common life together, the harvest of our community and our growing towards maturity and wisdom. Psalm 65 Verses 9 to 13. You visit the earth and water it. You are greatly enriched. The river of God is full of water. You provide the people with grain. For so you have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly. Settling its ridges. Softening it with showers. And blessing its growth. You crown the year with your beauty. Your bounty, your wagon tracks overflow with riches. 
The pastures of the wilderness overflow. The hills gird themselves with joy. The collect for harvest. I invite you to, to pray with me. Eternal God, you crown the year with your goodness and you give us fruits of the earth in their season. Grant that we may use them to your glory for the relief of those in need and for our own well-being. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We continue in prayer and prayer of intercession. We give you thanks for the harvest of the land. We pray for all who work to bring us the essentials of life. We remember the challenges of the growing season. We pray for all who are facing cha changing times with new priorities. Lord of the harvest, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the harvest of community life. We pray for all who give their time freely to build up our shared life, to contribute to the common good. Help us all to think of others and to act for future generations. Lord of the harvest, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for the harvest of our own lives, for all that has been productive and fruitful in us. Give us grace to grow in wisdom and understanding, to learn to listen for your voice. Lord of the harvest, hear our prayer. We hold in our prayers all who are struggling with illness or disability especially those in the farming community those who those whose work can have long-term impact on health we remember those who have died and are gathered into the harvest of heaven lord of the harvest here our prayer. And together we join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> so, at this harvest time, we're thankful. We're thankful for the fruits of the earth, for the beauty of the flowers. And also, i be reflecting in my sermons today on the, the seeds that have been sown in faith from this community down through the years. I'm mindful nine years ago, Bishop Ken Clark, sorry, Bishop Ken Good was here um, preaching at our harvest celebration service and uh, at that service the first seed of our vision development process which saw the Carrick Centre and saw lots of uh, important changes in this community take place and today I'm scattering more seed giving thanks for the harvest that has been but looking forward farmers don't um, at harvest time just sit back and say, ah, oh, that'll be it for five, five years. No, farmers will plan for the, the springtime 
the, the, and all of the uh, seeds and the grain and all the other stuff that they're going to need over winter ready for the, the springtime. And so it is with church that here in Carrie Grand we're looking forward to the future. We're looking forward to, uh, to seeing new staff members employed. We're looking forward to see uh, families on Sunday mornings equipped um, in our traditional buildings as well as in the Carrick Centre. We're looking forward and the mission and ministry appeal that we're launching today or that we're, that we're having the gift day for is a time when we are able to plant seed that will hopefully bear fruit in the seasons ahead. And certainly for me, I'm planning five years um, to see what God is going to do in our community. So do join with us. Do partner with us. I'm going to conclude. Um, I'm going to hand over to Marg um, as she uh, leads us in those familiar uh, harvest hymns. Come ye thankful people, come. service. I'm going to simply um, ask God for his blessing. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you and all whom you love and care for this day and forevermore. Amen.